So we're finally here, are we? Well, it was nice uh, while it lasted, folks, but uh, I think it's uh, time to I think it's time to pack up. Well, anyway, so a lot of you probably already heard the changes to the Unity prices over here. And uh, of course, you know, there has been, I mean, an uproar in the community, to say the least. And the reasoning obviously being the idea that you now have to pay a fee for the Unity runtime, which means that every time your game is installed, you have to pay an additional fee to Unity themselves. Now, overall, when you look at the entirety of the calculations and you look at, you know, for indie game devs and for people who are using personal, you know, if you even have to get the revenue of a 200k over here and you have to get the 200,000 installs. And then if you switch to Unity Pro, this goes up to a million each, which to be fair, getting a million in revenue and getting a million installs, that's that's hard, right? This is like not reachable by most indie game devs ever in their entire lives per project because these are per project and both of those have to be met so i agree that if you actually look at the numbers it's not quote unquote that bad but you know why it is so bad it's because it's per install this is the absolute slap in the face because th this th it makes absolutely no sense i have a master degree in computer science per install is something i have never seen in my entire life and let's even say, technically speaking, they could somehow monitor this where they get a token from when the runtime is installed and then they get that token on their server. Number one, if they somehow fingerprint that token with the user's telemetry data on their PC, there is no way that that's legal in the EU and probably California, I would imagine. Maybe some other states, maybe some other countries as well. So that's the first thing. So then they, if they can't use a fingerprint to specifically identify, okay, it was already installed on this person's machine or, or that machine, well, then you can literally just install bomb a game. Basically saying, hey, listen, every time I install this, you know, this this studio pays one cent. And yeah, that's not a lot, but, but let's be honest over here. Have you been on the internet lately? It doesn't even matter. This game has a political opinion that I disagree with. And it doesn't matter in what, which way it goes, whatever. Okay, let's just review bomb it. They write a script that installs the game 50,000 times a minute. That It is possible. Obviously, it's possible. Or you can just spoof the, the actual fingerprint that it sends to the Unity server and just bombard the Unity server with that. So really, that is the big issue, right? The big issue is that per install is... It's impossible not only to control, but a person can install it however often they like, because obviously... Secondly, any type of fingerprinting is... Uh, probably illegal and even if we go by the most conservative z one cent per install it is still the more i think about it it is still asinine to me i still cannot comprehend the idea of per install if it was per sale man sure there's like something about it but obviously the issue with per sale is then then they wouldn't get that sweet Genshin money or that sweet money from the free-to-play games where those companies are making millions upon millions and Unity is seeing literally zero of that. But instead of doing somewhere between like 4 and 8% revenue share, similar to how Unreal does it, right? Just to give you the idea over here for Unreal, right? A 5% royalty is due if you're distributing off-the-shelf products that incorporate Unreal Engine and lifetime gross revenue from that product exceeds 1 million US dollars. So after the 1 million US dollars of gross revenue that you've made, then you have to pay the 5% royalty. And while no one is like insanely happy about a 5% royalty, let's just be clear over here. Otherwise, Unreal Engine is completely free to use. And this is a predictable expense versus the Unity plan, which is not anywhere near predictable. And that is the big issue. The big issue is that the per install, maybe one month you get an invoice for like $500 and you're like, okay, that, I, that's fine, right? You can plan that. That's totally fine. But the variability and the possibility of install bombing means that, well, maybe next month you get an invoice for 23k. That's ridiculous. And of course, Unity has already tried to respond over here with uh, this tweet and this tweet. They are absolutely hilariously bad. The comments and like basically everyone in the comments is absolutely and then this one, this is the most hilarious stuff. How are insults tracked? Very fair question, right? We leverage our own proprietary data model, so you can appreciate that we won't go into detail, but we believe it gives an accurate determination of the number of times the runtime is distributed for a given project. Like, can we get more? This is this is exactly right. This is the exact same. Is this like a out-of-seasons April Fool's joke? This is exactly right. 
What are you talking about? So we won't go into detail how it works. So don't worry. We, we got it. We believe it gives an accurate determination. You believe? You believe? This is the worst use of I believe or we believe that I've ever seen in my entire life. What are you talking about? This has to be ironclad. You can't just be like, oh, well, we believe that that's going to be fine. This is going to be accurate. Just trust us. Just trust me, bro. No, absolutely not. And apparently there might be a dispute system, but it's like how I don't, there's nothing. It's ridiculous. It, the, the, the issue really is the installs every single time. And I understand this is not relevant for 99% of people who are using Unity, but it doesn't matter. The issue isn't that it's not relevant for you. The issue is number one, having compassion to the game devs that are now absolutely screwed if this gets implemented. And number two, this change represents a complete erosion of trust between the people using Unity and the Unity engine and the, and the company. Because if they think that this is a good idea and they want to change it like that, when are they going to change it again? A few other examples, right? If Danny, for example, would have had to paid the 20 cents over here, he would have paid 5.6 million. Now, to be fair, I don't know if the games even made more than 200k for him. It could be possible because he made videos out of them, and I'm unsure if that would count towards the revenue that the games made because the games themselves are free. But still, that is ridiculous. Once again, we get the 95% of cases the economics work, which is fine, right? Once again, most people, it's going to be totally okay. The issue isn't that it's going to be okay for most people, because like for, for myself, for example, if I ever want to make a game, I mean, I would want to make a game that I do have big ambitions and a lot of other people have big ambitions as well. So now I'll be punished if my game is super successful. That's ridiculous. And one thing I will also say is that, yes, this might be like a guerrilla marketing campaign, right? To just no press is bad press and let's just get our name out there. And then we're going to change it back to like 8% uh, revenue share and then everyone will rejoice. I don't know. I really don't think so. I think that they done fucked up with this. If this stays, then Unity is dead. There's no, I, I, I think that there's no arguing about that for myself over here to give you the update on the channel. If this stays, I'm going off of Unity tutorials. Um, I'm going to probably look into Godot. I might do Unreal. I might even go to freaking Flax Engine and Game Maker, RPG Maker. I'm going to do all of the other engines, but I'm never going to touch Unity again. And this is coming from someone who has worked with Unity for 13 plus years. I freaking love the engine. I love how it works. I, 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 I understand the workflow. I understand how everything works in the engine. Well, everything, you know what I mean? I wrote my master thesis with Unity as an engine. I know how to use it. This, this is the death of Unity, in my opinion. So I guess that's it for my insane rant over here. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go from here. So keep an eye out. I think that we're probably going to have a about a week or two or maybe a li little bit longer of a hiatus here on the channel because I don't know if I really want to continue with Unity tutorials. I understand that it won't apply to a lot of people, but it doesn't matter. It, it just doesn't matter that it doesn't apply to a lot of people because this is absolute just lunacy. So there you go. I mean, that's my two cents on the on the whole thing. It's uh, it's absolutely broken. Even if they change it and they reverse it and they go completely a different way, I don't know if the trust can be gotten back. And um, I hope their shareholders are happy at least. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, hope to see you next time, whatever that might be. So yeah.